Hi fellows, since Ilya 06, the plugin gives you two ways to paint on a texture 2D, either on the UV through the texture editor or on the mesh through the viewport drawing editor. In this video, I am going to tell you what tool should be used for what purpose. If you just need to sketch a quick drawing, using the viewport drawing editor will be more than useful. This will be especially true once epos will be available. If you don't know what EPOS is, it is time for you to watch another video from our channel. However, if you need to make a pretty drawing with details and accuracy, this might be tricky to do it through the viewport drawing editor. The fact is, due to the 3D environment, it is more complex to have an accurate and precise stroke line. Of course, you can still activate the smoothing option, but let's be honest, working on an actual 2D environment will make things much easier so, use the texture editor. As long as you're editing static meshes, the viewport drawing editor should suit all your needs. By the way, if you use the viewport drawing editor for the very first time, you will have to enable support UV from hit results in your project settings. It is fast and efficient and it helps to see better the result on your asset. Plus, you will still have the possibility to add layers, change blending modes, or play with any type of brushes. However, if you need to edit another type of mesh, such as an animated character, then you will have to use the texture editor to modify the texture. In that case, do not forget to change mipmap settings to no mipmaps in the panel texture details to enable the live update between the texture and the asset. The rule is simple, no static mesh, no Lyad mode. In fact, if you need to paint a decal or generate a post-process volume using textures, then you shall use the texture editor. Regarding foliages, well, they do use static meshes, but when you apply a foliage with Unreal, it is not considered anymore as a simple asset that was dragged and dropped on your map. So you'll have to use the texture editor again to edit the asset. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment if you liked the video, join our Discord server to chat with Praxin's team, or support our work with a tip on Patreon. Thank you, bye!